Yo, what's going on my people? Welcome back to the Live Capital YouTube channel where life is for the taking. It's the head honcho himself. Ted Talk Money coming back at you to tell y'all something I got to do in my digging and you already know what it is whenever we're covering XDC we get so excited over here on this side guys so um, I, this isn't exactly the newest news but this is a combination that most people I don't think are really covering if you will I think a lot more attention needs to be put on exactly about lab 577 and really dazzle the uh, reason why you have XDC really being the leading token of value over on Corda. If you actually hold XDC and if you've been considering maybe you want to lend it go or if you've been feeling like there's not much of an update for it, XDC really is going to be something that's going to be utilized, I mean, by financial institutions, DTCC. A lot of people have really been seeing that the digitization for trade finance is important. So what we really want to do with you guys is go over that combination really that happened and its connection really with XDC. So really quickly so you guys can see it, Lab 577. They they were the creators of the Dazzle Bridge, the Dazzle Bridge that actually allowed Corda, the DLT platform, if you will, that would allow it to be a hybrid blockchain. So real quick, so you guys can see a little bit of the background, Lab 577 joins the BCB group. Now, we had covered this when this happened, but I think it's important that you know exactly what's happening with it now. So uh, BCB, Europe's leading provider of business accounts, trading services for digital asset economy has announced that it acquired Lab 577. Now keep this in mind, you have Europe's leading provider for business accounts and digital trading services for digital asset economy. What's going on right now in Europe? The EU right now has delayed their ISO adoption you know, ISO 20022, those messages until March of next year. So right now in, in Europe, right now, things are, you know, a little wonky, a little crazy. So after four years of working together, they're saying the partnership between Lab 577 BCB Group, it has deepened, right, with Richard Crook being the um, founder over at Lab 577. He's now the COO of the BCB Group, and he's delighted that they were joining together for this next chapter of growth. Dassel becoming part of B-L-I-N-K or Blink is extending participants' ability to settle instantly in any currency or digital asset with no limit. So that's what they're really working on, guys. That's really what they're working on. So to give you a little bit of more information on who is BCB Group, what's it all about? You guys can see here, buy and sell crypto at scale at the most competitive spreads. This is going to be for financial institutions that really want to get in, in touch with uh, trading crypto, get in touch with settlement, seamless settlement. They say they provide institutions with secure gateways in the cryptocurrency markets. Secure trading channels include web apps and voice or encryption voice text channels and all that. That's what the BCB Group wants to do. Now, they're also a digital asset custody solution as well. So what they're offering is, again, for these financial institutions who want to get involved with DLT, they want to get involved with uh, digital custody uh or digital asset custody. Now you're seeing it here, but at BCB Group, they can provide that custom custody for each one of these wallets. Okay. So they're saying they're global leading provider for business accounts, trading services, like we said, in this new digital economy. But I want you to keep this in mind about this, this part, this uh, partnership, regulatory first, regulations first, regulations first. The BCB Group is a leading global leading provider of business accounts and trading services for the digital asset economy regulated in the UK, regulated in Switzerland. So again, guys, the reason why I'm bringing this to you is because they continue to move forward and do more and more things, guys. Now, a month, right, a month before they acquired BCB Group, a month before they acquired Lab 577, they raised 60 million, their largest ever series funding round in the UK. Okay, so since then, they they're they're moving forward. They're moving forward. Now, when I got to doing my digging and finding some things out, I want you guys to see what these three words here. Innovation, standardization, and interoperability. Who's who's speaking here? This is, of course, uh, the Central Bank of Brazil, BRICS Nations, right? But faster payment strategist, Ken Isaacson, where is he from? The Federal Reserve Bank of New York. He's a senior vice president. I want you guys to really see some of the things that I got to digging out and finding here. You guys can see it. ISO 20022 business case assessment. You guys can see what they did. The stakeholders group got together. And I want you all to keep this in mind who the stakeholder group is. Federal Reserve Banks, 
Chips, clearinghouse payment companies, uh, Nasha, all of these. I want you guys to know that Ripple has involvement with each and every one of these uh, stakeholders groups. Okay. Look at this. The ISO 20022 use case for wire transfer systems, cross-border interoperability, compliance with domestic and global regulatory requirements, XRP, XRP all the way around. So I want you guys to understand and know that's the reason why this DASL bridge was so important is because it allowed Corda to become hybrid. It can work better with this ISO standard, especially when it comes down to DLT. And keep this in mind, guys. Really? Really? What financial institutions want to do with this new standard? It's all about cross-border interoperability and eventually with DLT. Now, like we're saying here, guys, XDC is going to be that leading token of value on Corda. Thanks to the Dassel Crypto Bridge, that R3 bridge enables Zenfin to significantly increase its interoperability within the Corda ecosystem. We've gone over this and we will continue to go over it because this is a huge piece, a huge part of you understanding exactly how trade finance will be affected. OK, this bridge is going to be uh, providing direct access to business networks and institutions that are active on Corda. So as a result of all of this, if you have ISO 20022, you have Corda suddenly becoming hybrid because of this new standard here. Now you have players now, ISO 20022 players in Pell coming on who's built on XDC coming to challenge Swift and SIPA. Now, again, guys, I'm going over all of this so you can know I want to round all this up. If you're new to our channel, if you've never heard of XDC, if you've never even looked into ISO, understand and know that if you want to talk about ISO crypto, XDC is it. And Impel is showing it, hands down. Impel and the XDC network today announced the official launch of Impel, an alternative solution platform for quickly, securely sending ISO compliant financial messages. With the option to add XDC as a collateral for instant settlement and a bridge to the R3 Corda platform for future facing banks and fintechs. So if you don't think that this ISO standard has anything to do with the XDC network, Impel will tell you otherwise. Impel service offerings runs on the XDC network, which was created and is maintained by Zenfin. OK, a top 100 enterprise ready hybrid blockchain project for global trade and finance. XDC leveraging outstanding security impels financial messaging platform uses an API that meets what the new ISO standard and is quickly becoming the global language for financial messaging. Impel also offers a real time settlement option, real time growth settlement option by using XDC, XDC's native coin as collateral in the financial messaging payload instead of the current two plus day standard commonly used across the financial service industry through the commercial centralized banking system through Nostro Vostro accounts. So if you guys don't know what that is about, when you send payments across borders, there needs to be uh, destination accounts to make sure that that funding and liquidity can pass through those jurisdictions, pass those, you know, cross those borders. So you guys could see it if you if you're if you are new to XDC, understand this. Each node on XDC is KYC compliant. OK, built in forensics, built in monitoring. What we talked about, XDC, uh, 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 blockchain 4.0, military grade forensics. OK, there is no buffoonery happening on the XDC network. And if you did, that would be very, very unwise. OK, very unwise. Right. But I want you want you guys to have that. Not enough uh, attention has been put into the place for that. That lab 577 connection. OK, so to really go over this again one time with you, lab 577 acquired or was absorbed into the BCB group. Previously to that, the BCB group raised a, the largest funding round possible. Just so you guys can know right now, they are working on the innovation and standardization interoperability of the ISO standard since 27, since 2015. OK, since this the Dassel Bridge has, be, has made XDC become the leading token of value on Corda. And because of this, now ISO, there is a new ISO player that uh, this, this Impel service is API built on XDC to now utilize this new standard. OK, so once you actually have even 10 percent of trade finance being processed all on XDC, 
or let's even take 25% of the world, uh, the world stage, if you will, the world fintechs, innovation fintechs that will be operating on Impel, that will be using XDC, then there is demand to secure it. So it's all a matter of time because this is true. This is real utility. All right. But guys, I appreciate you making it to this part of the video. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe as well. Hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of our updates. But I'll holler at you later. Peace.